The first thing I do is take a fabric softener sheet and I rub the front and the back of the heat resistant acetate to keep glitter and embossing powder from sticking. Then I'm going to use a black pigment ink and stamp the image that I want on the front of the acetate. Just center the stamp and press firmly into place. And then I'm going to use ultra thick embossing powder in gold. And then I'm going to heat set it. I'm holding the heat gun about an inch from the paper because I don't want to overheat it and you'll be able to see the colors change as the heat is applied to the embossing powder and it will make the uh, image rise. Once the image is heat set, then turn it over and apply clear glue to the back with a paintbrush. This is Art Institute Designer Dries Clear Glue. I'm applying a thin layer of glue almost to the edges so that I can still see the design through the glue so that I can place my inks and my glitter right where I want them. Be sure to drop the paintbrush in a cup of water when finished so that the glue won't dry on it. And now I'm going to use some Crazy Corn Dazzlers from Art Institute on the tops of my flowers. Next, I'm going to apply some alcohol inks in red pepper, wild plum, and cranberry. Once you have the ink applied on the image, get some gift wrap white tissue paper or color paper, wrinkle it up, and then place it on the back of the image. And then I just use a, a paintbrush and a roller to attach the tissue to the back. And then I let it dry overnight completely.
Once it's completely dry the next day, you can cut the excess tissue from the sides of the acetate. And then we'll trim the acetate a little smaller around the stamped image so that we can place it on our cardstock. Once you cut it out, and if you see a couple of spots where you had missed ink, all you have to do is just add a little more and it will dry very quickly and then you can set it on cardstock. 